Good day everyone. This is the first video in a series of videos that will be created and produced on the final exam or assessment, which is the individual final practical project. This is 30% of your grade. And this short video will just be an overview of what to expect when it comes to the project. This will be rolled out to you during weeks three or four um, of the class once all of the uh, drop head period has um, subsided and you are surely in this class, you will um, be able to start working. You can start working from before because you'll be able to see this um, once week four is visible. Um, the project is individual and each person will have to submit three things. One will be a Microsoft Word document, which will be a business proposal on a business idea that you have, whether it be a product or a service. The second part, it will be a Microsoft Excel budget for the first year of your operation. You will have a projected sales and projected expenses for the business. Your last part will be your video presentation. It will be a 15 minute video presentation of your proposal and your budget. Okay, um, some key dates uh, after the project rollout where the rubrics will be explained to you. Um, Sunday, September the 12th, 11.59 p.m. You will have your project update number one. Um, you will submit, each student will submit a one page Word document with the type of business or service that you'll be doing your proposal on. So for example, if you'll be doing a transportation company like a taxi business, or if it'll be a bus company, or if it'll be a travel company, or a restaurant, or empanada shop, or um, a laundry shop, whatever it will be, you will basically tell us what that business will be, okay? Um, this will not be graded, but it will be checked by your instructor to make sure that you're choosing a business and you na you, you've narrowed the scope somewhat. So what, what will basically you be selling? What will be your services? What will be some of your products? These are all things that are subject to change throughout your, your project until you do your final submission because um, you may find things that work and things that don't work and you'll have to be flexible just like you would in real life. The following week, Sunday, September 19th, the um, project update number two will be do, will be due. This will be, um, again, you will mention your business and an overview of your business. A one-page Word document that highlights all the information that will be included in your Word and Excel submissions. So basically an outline of each um, submission. What will be like your, your uh, table of contents? What headings are you going to use for your business proposal? And what will be some of your um, categories of sales? Where are you going to? Where is going to be your revenue generation coming from? And where is going to be your um, bills and your expenses? What type of what type do you expect? Okay. So those are the first two submissions, and they are both not graded, um, but they are required so that you're on track. Remember that just because something's not graded doesn't mean it's not important. Okay. Um, the next thing is your uh, in week six. We will have a uh, Q&A during that week. Your class sessions will be predominantly um, around devoted to the project and any questions that you have on the project. By that time, you'll have at least two to three weeks to be able to do some work, and you'll also have submitted your project update one and two. So you should start um, your project should start take, taking shape, and you should have some questions. <clears throat> Sunday, October 3rd, you will um, have your your draft of your business proposal completed and you will give it to one of your fellow peer students in your section to have them review it. And you, using the rubric, they will um, complete a graded rubric with comments. They will attach it to it and give it back to you. And you will submit that by Sunday night, October 3rd, 11.59 p.m. This is basically a check and balance for you to get another person's point of view. These will not be graded by your instructor. These will be graded um, by your peer reviewed partner, right? Um, so this is important for you to get feedback from someone else who's working on the same project as you and give you some feedback from uh, someone else who may be doing something similar to you or even something different than you when it comes to the business product or service, but just to give you some insight. The next item will be Sunday, October 24th, and very similar to the to the one October 3rd. This is where the Excel budget 
which will be submitted to you from you to a, a partner again, preferably the same person who already has an experience with you being your peer review person. And they basically will provide you feedback um, on your budget, right? And again, they will basically attach the rubric that we have in the, the same document that we're reviewing here. They will attach that into your um, one of your pages and you'll get feedback from them regarding your first year budget. Again, that'll be um, something that is reviewed by a peer and will not necessarily be graded by your instructor. Sunday, November 21st, your final project and presentation is due by November 21st, Sunday, um, which is the um, 14th week of classes, 11.59 p.m. The business proposal and budget with all suggested revisions as you, as you deemed necessary from your peer review and from your feedback from your initial um, project update one and two and any questions that you had from your lecturer. Um, you will send in three things, your business proposal, you will send in your Excel budget, and you will send in a Word document which will have the link to Google Drive or YouTube, um, which is has the um, which has the um, permissions to where the person is granted to be able to view it. As far as the project goes, um, late submissions of the project will only be accepted up to and including Friday, November 26, which is the last day of classes. Those received after November 21st will be penalized 10%. Nothing will be accepted or graded after November 26th. Okay. Um, in this document, you will see um, the word rubric, right, which basically is here. And it tells you that you should have a title page, a cover page, uh, title or cover page, table of contents, executive summary, um, your proposal, your methodology. You must have an IT element, um, which we'll go into some detail when we go through the, rub the rubric part of this, of the word um, business proposal in detail. There'll be a video for the business proposal. There'll be a video for the Excel budget and there'll be a video for the presentation. All right, um, you should have about us, pricing, financial, terms and conditions, and final thoughts. Remember, every um, all, any cited work um, must be used to support your proposal and have the references. Here is a link that you could also click on to, to uh, on how to write a business proposal, and you should be focusing on the, the four section to get the highest grade for each of the um, parts of the rubric. The Excel budget, again, this should break down into three pages. One should be a um, what is where your sales coming from, when the next page should be or the next sheet should be from where your business uh, expenses are coming from and then there should be an overall budget which should show sales less expenses showing what your expected profit or loss is for the first year of operation then your presentation again each of these will be explained um, when, when we do the videos on those okay so this is currently located here um, right under i believe it's week number four you can see week four, September 6th. So you should be able to see this after week one. So in week two, you'll be able to see this and you'll be able to download that document. And it's right here under final project. Okay, that's basically it folks to get started on your project. So um, I recommend that you get started early because the longer that you wait to do, um, to do your project, um, you're gonna leave yourself with a lot of work at the end of the semester. And at the end of the semester, you're going to have all of your classes are going to have assessments that are going to be due. And I, I, I pride myself on the fact that you get this early so that you can start it early. So please take advantage of the fact that you have it because you will be overwhelmed at the end of the semester with all of your different final exams and course projects that you have due. Thank you very much for your time and for viewing this video.